All right, let's get it. Hit that like button, share, subscribe. An uncomfortable subject. Method Man explains why he and bandmates don't discuss pricey once upon a time in Shaolin. I remember that joint, yo. That joint was so expensive. I remember people were paying, but you said y'all don't discuss it. It's cool. Let's go forward. All right, let's get busy. Limitations, chapter three, starting at the 54th. Waters flowed over mine head. Then I said, I am cut off. I called upon thy name, O Lord, out of the low dungeon, breathing at my cry, thou drewest, wherein thy whole, thy, thy that day that I called upon thee, thou saidest, fear not, O Lord, thou hast pleaded the causes of my soul, thou hast redeemed my, my life, O Lord, thou hast seen my wrong. Judge thou my cause, thou hast seen all their uh, vengeance and vengeance in, in all their imaginations against me all the day. Right there. That's why you pray to God. That's why you go to him humbly and trembling in fear because he knows different things that are against you, known and unknown. He has dangers seen and unseen, known and unknown. He has them all together. He knows all people doing things. He knows what wickedness there is, what wickedness is going to be because he knows the past, present, and future. Therefore, he could tell you everything and lead you on the way to do everything you got to do. He'll even take that person out or he'll have you take them out at the right time. God tells you what to do, when to do it. That's why you follow God, not any other spirit or else you'll be in the pits for eternity. You go to the pits. All right. It's eternal. When you leave, it's eternal all the day. That's what all the day means. It's, it's eternal. Same thing. Wordplay all the day, all day, 24, 7, 365. You burn and scream and torture and pain to different tortures. There's a lot of different tortures that you can do to a person, even on earth there. They know many. We're getting to that where they know many different, different tortures that were ancient. They taught tortures the man that's what a lot of fallen angels were involved in all this stuff was given by the fallen this type of wicked things torture that type of stuff and the deep things they do in imprisonment stuff that is not natural it was given by wicked spirits to convince it the egyptian type spirits were getting there they did a lot of spiritual work that's why you guys know a lot about egyptian signs egyptian signals egyptian things all over the place they did a lot of wickedness before the lord that's why he took took the people of israel out made them the chosen ones and he destroyed egypt right there and he made an example of the kings queens whenever they would be fit to make an example of because they were wicked okay behold they're sitting down and rising up i am their music render unto them a recompense and again to musicians that's why you got to be careful with the music you make and what you say about god because he allowed you to do it he gave you your talent but you're using it for the wrong thing you're doing the wrong things with your talent you got to check yourself with god well, you check yourself with man you check on your friends you check everything else check yourself with god are you good with him or not? Hey, God, are we good? Do you pray in your closet? Do you do and follow his precepts? Are you doing what God said in Proverbs, not just following it? We're getting back to Proverbs so I can talk about everything we got to do. Come on, let's get there. Let's get it done. Not this one, not this one right now. I don't think not the next one, but it's coming up. It's coming. All right. Oh, Lord, according to the work, work of their hands, give them sorrow of heart. My curse unto them in anger from under the heavens of the lord how is the gold become dim he can make gold worth nothing and we're getting to a time like that financially how don't you see it not even gold matters it's not good enough people are just wanting to do wicked evil things gold won't matter man you gotta look gold's not even going to be a factor in what they do that's crazy that's that's wild how is become them? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out on to the top of every street. Wow. On top of every street. So the wickedness that's around, it's going to be so many places that it's not going to miss a street. It's going to be everywhere. It's literally going to be stretching around corners, bending over. Yo, wow. It's everywhere. That means it's everywhere. Now you're reading Lamentations chapter 4, verse 2 to 22. Let's go. And we're starting at the 19th. Our prosecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They persuaded us upon the mountains they laid wait for us in the wilderness right there yo what right there yo what the, guys do you get that i'm gonna read it again 
or persecutors are swifter than the eagle. Now, we're going to fly. We're getting there. We're going to fly swifter than eagles with God. When he comes back, you're going to be able to fly swifter than an eagle. So right there, mocking us. What does the deceiver do? He mocks us. So there are prosecutors, prosecutors, accusers of the brethren. They're swifter to accuse somebody of something false than it is anything. They're swifter to accuse or persecute you when it's unjust. They're, qu they're quick to do that. Do you get that? Then an eagle, that means they do it like clockwork. Let yo, let's of the swifter than eagles of the heaven. And that's in heaven. Eagles are fat. Yo, we never even seen an eagle in heaven. Yo. They persuaded us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. Just like a friend. They told you, yo, it's good to go. Then they got something set up to get you out of here. Yo, wicked. They're wicked right there. The persecutors, their accusers are wicked people. God said they're wicked right there by scripture. Thank you, Jesus. That's crazy. Job 13, starting at the third. Let's go. Surely I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with God, but ye are forger, forgers of lies. Forgers of lies. There's people that forge lies against us all the time. They'll forge it and pad it up and suit it up the best way they can, but still push it and act like it's the truth, knowing it's a lie. Well, that's wicked. I read what gets you get. It's crazy. Let's keep going. Let's see what God says here. Because you remember, you break one sin, there's many more broken behind it. Yo, that's crazy. This is crazy. Forgers of lies. Ye are all, ye are all, let's see, physicians of no value. That's crazy. And people think it like a job. No, like physicians, the body of Christ, word play. The body of Christ, you guys, Everybody says they know how to deal with Christ believers. They say they're a Christ believer. They say they believe Jesus is real. But do they believe in it to enact it in their life? Do they believe it to tell people Jesus Christ is real? Do they believe it like that? If they don't believe it like that, then they don't believe it. Okay? If they believe it like that, you're lukewarm. It's your faith. It's not about sin. It's about your faith. Or do you ask forgiveness from your sin? And do you turn ye, turn ye in Isaiah 35? Okay. Yo, let's go. Yo. <laughs> All praise the most high God, Jesus Christ, right now. Right now, nigga. Right now. Okay. Because that gets a lot of people out of here. A lot of y'all just walked away like, oh, whistling pastors all over the place because y'all be judging sin like nobody's business it's wicked okay it's the accuser of the brethren you don't judge sin okay let's go should be all together let me okay let me do that ye would all together know by reasoning and hearken to the pleadings of my lips will you speak wickedly for god talk bad about god a lot of people do and Then dece one deceitfully for him and then talk like basically talk deceitfully about God, about him. Really, you're going to choose to do that. Will you accept this per his person? Will you accept God? Will you accept who he is? Will you accept him as he is? Because you accept everybody else. Like, don't say nothing about that person. Accept them. You accept everybody else. Do you accept God that way or not? Do you? If not, you're a hypocrite. Thou hypocrite. P approved. Yes, you are if you don't accept God, but you accept everybody else. And that's why you don't accept people because he's holy. That don't make sense. Holy and terrible. Come on now. Should. Okay. That he should search you out. Is it good that he should search you out? Now, it's not good God should search you out. It's good that you're with him. If God got to search you out, there's a problem. If God got to go looking for you, there's something going on that ain't good because you should always be in God's graces. OK, that's what that's saying. Show not his excellency make you afraid. His excellent spirit. Don't you want to be like God? Don't you want to fight to be towards God to win the consolation? Yes or no? Make your mind up. Are you afraid? Are you not afraid of God? Should someone have to tell you to be afraid of a God that could think of you and make you go? But people also through him can make the same things happen.
Do you not believe or do you not fear God at all? Yeah, you will. You will. He's going to teach you. Let you say you don't fear God in your head. And say it over and over. You're done. God's going to seek you out. I promise. You could try and hide to stay alive. But one of them days, he's going to catch you. He's going to. By scripture. That's scripture. I read that. Okay. We could go back there and read. We're going to go there and read. Not now. But we're going to go there and read. Because people don't get how serious this is. It's not a game. Let me alone. <laughs> and, oh, wow. Hold on. Excellency make you afraid and his dead, his dread fall upon you. Your remembrances let let me alone that I may speak and let come on me what will wherefore do I take my flesh in my teeth and put my life in mine hand? You don't. You turn on God, you pray to God. Though he slay me. What? Hold on, yo. Hold on. Yo. Hold on. Your remembrance, let me alone, that I may speak. Wait. Are like unto ashes. So everything you remember is unto ashes. What you remember on earth, it says ashes. When you leave here, it's an ash. That means it never was. What did I say? This world is not the world. It's ashes unto us. In God. By scripture. Now let's go. Your bodies to bodies of clay. Hold your peace. Well, wherefore do I take my flesh and my teeth and put in him? But I will maintain mine own ways before him. You maintain your way of doing his precepts and what he says. Yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. He also shall be my salvation right there. He'll be your salvation in times of need. People don't have salvation. I'm talking about your soul. That means if they pass away, they have a second death. They don't find Christ by scripture right there. Maintain my own ways before him because he's always watching. He also shall be my salvation for an hypocrite shall not come before him right there. What did I say? All people who do not obey the law of, of God and do what God says. All times, Jesus Christ held above all esteem, not doing adultery. You'll become as ash on the ground, as I read. And what did we read right here? I, let me read it again. And you're a hypocrite before God. So salvation will not come right there. Therefore, you burn up as ash when he returns, when we're getting the revelation or he just ain't taking you with him. And you go to hell. By scripture right there. Right there. Everything I said back and proven right there. All praise the most high God, Jesus Christ. He never told us a lie. Jesus Christ never lied. Right there. Everything proven as fact. Now you guys got to read Job 13, 16 to 28. Right there. Now we get to the crux. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Let's get it. Let's go. The Lord your God, which goeth before you, he shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt. We just, before your eyes, in and all the wilderness where thou hast seen how that the Lord thy God bear thee as a man doeth bear his sons. Yet in this thing ye did not believe the Lord your God who went in the way before you to search you out a place to pitch your tents in a fire by night to shew you by what way ye should go and in a cloud by day and the Lord heard the voice of your words and was wroth and swear saying surely there shall not one of them these seen these men of this evil generation see that good land which I swear to give unto your fathers. Save, save Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. He shall see it. And to him will I give the land that he hath trodden, trodden upon and to his children because he hath wholly followed 
the Lord right there. That means he wholly did his best, his due diligence and best to do what God says, repenting at all his evil, praying and turning from his sin best he can. The striving, remember, we're running a race. When you run a race, do you run it perfect or do you run it best way you can? But you run it to the finish line and we're getting there. We're getting there. You run it to the finish line. That's all you do, your best possible way. Let's go. Let's go. That hath trodden upon and to his children, and because he hath wholly followed the Lord, also the Lord was angry with me for your sakes, saying, though also shalt not go thither, encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Right there. Ministry is there to what? Encourage people. Subvert people. Not to down people. Not to despise people. Not to harm people. Yet in your prayers, God gets vengeance for you. By the word of God and scripture I read right here. So stop judging sin. And downing people using wickedness against wickedness. Use blessedness. Pray for them. Because when God sees them, they're going to regret every bad thing they ever did. By scripture. Trying to tell y'all, man. Just read. Now, you're reading Deuteronomy chapter 1. Verse 39 to 46 in this chapter. Now, let me read 40. Listen close. But as for you. Turn you. What means repent and take your journey. What does that mean? What do you do? You tell people Jesus Christ is real. That's your journey. You go around on your journey telling people Jesus Christ is real. Everywhere you go, to and fro, tell them he's real. Right there. Now, what's the next part of this verse? By wilderness, the way. What? By wilderness, into the valley of the shadow of darkness, where we're going all over the earth. We're in the wilderness. There's grass everywhere. Are you kidding me? What? Through the way of the Red Sea. Uh-oh. That's the destination. Okay? That's us making it to heaven. Going through what? People say, oh, it's hell on earth. Yes, it is. But that's because you're going for your consolation. That the deceiver took from us by scripture word play out of this world no greater word play right there right there by scripture do your readings everybody let's show our honor and our faith in jesus christ by scripture all praise the most high god all rights reserved we in the building